Welcome back for another carving video. We have a really, really cute, exciting carve plan for today. This is a carving I've been wanting to do since I started carving. So with that said, today we are carving a sloth. The customer wants the sloth around three feet and this is cut to exactly three feet and I think it's going to be a perfect log. I think it has a 17 inch diameter, so I'm gonna roll that out and we're gonna get started! So our slothy boy, or kind of looks like an astronaut monkey right now, is pretty much blocked out. You can see he has this one raised arm, goes down, and then his other arm and his two feet. Now what we're going to do is break out the die grinder and we're just going to add a little bit more detail and separation from like the limbs and the body and we'll give him some claws three of them little three-toed sloth so claws here and on his feet so we'll jump into that and we'll go from there
our cute little sloth man has his face all done. He's got his claws. We are going to try to make like a really twisty fun tree. So you can see I have the lines kind of pulled around and around. I don't know if you can see them. See how they all kind of go this way and then kind of swirl around that base. I just think it will be cool and it will add a lot of character. So kind of all wrapped around this way. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm kind of digging it. See how it kind of wraps around. I think it adds some character. So now we are going to texture our little sloth man. He's so cute, guys. He's so cute. Look at that little face. Oh, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Look at the little claws. I further shape them out. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I just can't get over this little face. So I'm gonna grab the torch out and we're gonna get rid of all these fuzzies. Then we'll sand him back a little bit. And then tomorrow we're gonna color him and he'll be off to his new home. Torch time. Can you guys see the bugs on top of the sloth right now? I'm getting eaten alive out here. Go away, just go ahead. Just leave me this tiny little space to myself, plus. So this is after lots of brushing. We kind of just spread the ash around so we have more of like a one solid color. Now we're gonna take the Sandaflex and just kind of give it some light sanding. Mm -hmm. Well, he's all toasted now. I'm really digging the base. I'm happy I went with the twisty wood. His little feet. His little face. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna color him up tomorrow morning. So I'll see you guys then. Good morning. So we have our little sloth man ready to be painted. Tied a trash bag down around the bottom here. So I think I'm gonna start off with some spray paint and go from there. So let's get started on this cute little man.
Listen to those birds. So pretty. Oh my goodness. These caterpillars. Yesterday they were falling from the oak tree right onto my head and he's having a panic attack. Raining caterpillars and they're the brown moths. Apparently if they touch your skin you like break out. Okay, so Slothy Boy is done. He is the cutest thing I've ever seen. The sloth has just stolen my heart. I told the customer they're gonna have to pry him from my arms. <sighs> but anyways, let me show you our finished sloth. Look at his little face and his eyes. Oh, I just can't.